Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this already uh, becoming uh, late June. Um, this new video is just give a status. My mom um, is going off and on into the hospital setting. Uh, has has problems with congestive heart failure and also kidney disease. The way it's understood is that she is on end stage kidney disease. And just a matter of time, but she, she's been going God's time. But I'm just going to ask for prayers for her. Now, for me, I've had some difficulties since last month. I've been having an emotional upset. Or ended up in the hospital a couple of days for medication adjustment. Seems like the medication adjustment is working. And basically, that's all I can tell you on me. I, right now, I'm not working. I'm waiting to see what's going to go on. I am trying to retire early, which would be beneficial in my circumstances. And I'm hoping, and I know God is in control of all this, and, ho and he'll make it happen. I do ask for prayers, not only for myself, but also for my mom. Now, like I always tell you, there's more than one reason that I'm here giving you a video. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the real deal of my books again. Okay. First one we got here is Pride, Abuse, and Mental Illness. Now, this is the paper, paperback uh, version, so you're going to be able to see it's kind of thin, the quality on it seems like it's pretty good, okay, and it has some of the information on the back, and of course, this one here is an autograph version, if somebody is interested in getting it. Now this one, this one here is by Author House. I'm sorry, Author House is a publisher. Okay, this book went out in um, 2011. It also does come in hardcover. Okay, and the hardcover is pretty decent looking. Um, the lady on there, it just talks about um, some of the thing feelings that she has. The whole first chapter is dedicated to my mom. Now, this hardcover, again, is just a little thin book, but it's got good quality hardcover. Publishing company is Author House. And, of course, they have a little bi uh, biography or story in the back. Quality is very good, as you can see here. And it's on good, great paper. Next one I have is... Three strikes and you're not out. Now, if you notice, you have a lady here standing over a, bu a bunch of men. Now, that lady is um, apparently looks like Florence Nightingale. Now, Florence Nightingale is one of the first nurses that helped out during battle. I chose her because I felt that I am an RN and that this would go ahead and help it, help uh, with uh, hopefully selling the book. Again, this one's a hardcover, a thin quality. This one here, a uh, little information about the story. And also, um, sorry, also Author House is the publisher, the quality. <clears throat> Again here is Pretty decent. It's got good grade paper. And it also comes in paperback. And that one also came out in the year 2011. Now this year, I went another couple routes in January. I did my first attempt at a devotional. It's called Living for Others. Now, if you see up here at the top, the ant is a mother ant or queen ant, and she is living for her colony. Okay, we're going to back it off a little bit so you can see that there's a colony. Now, if you look close enough at this, you're going to see underneath the big ant is 
uh, a shadow. Now, the shadow represents that this this uh, ant could be food for the um, colony. Now, again, this is a different different quality. You're going to see it's a little bit different. Okay, by the letter, you can see it's good quality paper. Just more, I'm going to show you a couple more. And on the back here, you're going to see a picture of me. It's the same picture I do use on my Facebook. Also on a um, bunch of other networking. And the publishing company for this book is Ex Libre. It comes in a soft cover. It's a fairly thin read. Fairly, fairly thin read book. Um, it has a story and it follows it with um, a bunch of Bible verses that are important. And can, again, this is the hardcover version, as you can see. Pretty good quality. Again, a thin book. Um, same quality, good paper. And I chose this picture myself. Again, my picture in the back. And H. Libre is the publishing company. The next one I have is my cancer story and those if, if anybody had been following me um, since uh, 2011 they will find out that I had oral pharyngeal stage 4 cancer and my vocal cords were even paralyzed when I had my radiation and chemotherapy now the oral pharyngeal came right about the ear Come in, this is all inside, involved the neck and the lower tongue. And I was just fortunate that the radiation and chemo worked. Well, what I did is I wrote my story. And I, the way I created it is from a diary that I was keeping at the time. You can see this picture here in the middle is an actual, um, they call it an MRI image, showing what type of cancer it is. And this book is called Cancer to Be or not to be letting go. Again, um, it has my picture on the back. Ex Libre is a publishing company. The same kind of quality as we had for the uh, last book. It talks about different stages that I went through when I had the cancer. Now, this one also comes in a hard book. Okay, and you can see it's not it's not a super thick book, but it's a good quality. Nice nice um and nice and solid. Done on good paper. And just talks a little bit about the chemo. Um it's a pretty decent little book here. And like I said, I use a diary. Again, it has my picture of my hat, my identification information. I tell a little bit about myself in the in the beginning, and it's again a libre. Now all these can be found um, on Amazon.com. Type in Paula Jean A. Anderson. Paula Jean is one word. It also also can be found at BarnesandNoble.com. Type in Paula Jean A. Anderson. Now. The ones that were written this year, which are um, the devotional and my cancer book, those also can be found on a Libre. And the Three Strikes You're Not Out and Pride, Abuse, and Mental Illness can be found at Author House also. Now, these books aren't selling, so I'm gonna, I figured let's try and promote again. And, and now that I'm off, I can probably do a little more with promoting this. And again, like I said, we have a lot of prayers to think about. For me, I have other books in the works. Dysfunction is pretty much done. It's not pulling any punches. It basically talks about family life. And I decided to hold off on publishing it for right now until my mom would pass because that will finish that book. Now, another one I have in the works. It's called is your God my God? And what I do there is I talk about different parts of the Bible and compare it to things that are today. And I know that 
my God is a very loving God, and when you do a comparison like I have done in this new book, um, you'll find out that the God of the Old Testament was also a loving and caring God, and the God of the New Testament was a loving and caring God. And the big deal there is that we are all saved by the precious blood of Jesus. So like I said, we're asking for prayer. We're asking for, hopefully, to sell these books. Um, if they sell, I'll be able to survive. Otherwise, I might be struggling here toward the end of the year. So I pray that you will buy these books. Keep me and your mom in your prayers. And God bless you all.